Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas day four. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been long to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh oh La da 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 oh oh Hello friends I am making my second cup of coffee It is about 6am um, I got up at 4 I believe And uh, answered and read all Instagram comments and YouTube comments And responded to a bunch of them And then Really from 4.30 to 6, I've just been working. Um, drafting some emails already for next week. Drafting some emails I need for today. Finishing some PowerPoints I need for today. Um, yeah, it's busy, but um, getting ahead of things makes me feel really good. So that's what has happened today. Now that we're settling back into working from home, at least until January 20th, I do this thing on Fridays called Coffee and Chats. And it's completely optional and it just allows um, our team members to join and we literally chat I pull discussion cards so we're doing that this morning from 7 30 to 8 we do that on Fridays um, and we'll just sit around and talk and chat and connect and hang out with each other because it's really hard to not be able to see each other all the time and this gives us space outside of like work and tasks to just connect so that's happening so I have about an hour and a half before that I'm gonna have another cup of coffee. Um, I'm not gonna touch my computer in this next hour is going to be for me to just relax and ease into my day, even though it's already started. And yeah, it's Friday, friends. We did it. We, we did it. We got to Friday. We did the hard things. We're a little bit stronger than we were, and guess what? We survived. And we'll keep doing that. All right, cheers. Pardon the lighting because it's not that good. Um, but I was just sitting here thinking and I had just posted over on Instagram um, my thoughts. So here's the deal. It is Friday. Not only has it been a tough year, this week felt a little tough. Don't get me wrong, it has been amazing the joy of vlogmas and doing this and our interaction and our connection and your investment and all the kindness that i see uh us having an impact on is so amazing but it's been a tough week with like tricky situations and things like that so i was thinking today i could have that feeling of like just get through friday like and then start over next week or attack friday with zest and intention and positivity and productiveness and like make it the best Friday you possibly can. And that way you go into the weekend feeling so good and energized for the week ahead. And that's what I'm choosing to do. Like I'm going to end this week with so much productivity and excitement and passion and intention and that's how I want to go out this week. And I'm stepping back and saying like, wow, it was a tough week, but I navigated it really well. 
and I did the hard things and I survived them. And not only that, I grew and learned and am better and I can really handle a lot of things. So that's how I'm attacking my Friday today. I hope you do too. It's day four. Oh, it's day four already. Mm -hmm. Careful, careful. It's the green, I like the green one. It's, oh. Um, um, Stormio. Right. Ooh, that one's mine. No coffee for you. We'll do, the, we'll do his. Advent. He really thinks every advent calendar is his. Wow. That's because it's such a good production. And he likes being involved. What? All right, let's do tea. Organic North African mint. Ooh, I don't like mint. Oh, I like mint. I know you don't like mint. I'm not a fan of it. Yeah. I'm just gonna get peppermint pods for the uh, espresso. No bagels today? Wow. Oh, I'll, so, I'll pick some so up. We, we have this wonderful, nice breakfast. Oh, I love bread. Uh, He'll have the crusts. I'm gonna go open my advent calendars in the dining room. Four. I cannot believe it's day four already. What did we get? Aww. We got this little house. All right, Beekman 1802. Four is right here. We got the Arcadia lip balm, and now this is the pure goat milk lip balm. But look how pretty the packaging is. Ugh, I love it. And now, the White Company. This is the White Company's Restore Body Balm. And once again, it's geranium, neroli, and eucalyptus. Oh my gosh, it smells just like the spa. Yes, I already opened them, you missed out. You missed... <laughs> Advent calendars are done, except for the cookie and sugar fina and the gratitude jar for today. We did it last night. It's hard to remember to film everything. And also today's act of kindness is to disconnect and have a game night, which I have that planned and thought out. So I'm gonna try to edit this and film as much as I can and get it done. So by like five or six today, I can completely disconnect and we can have a game night. But I'm gonna tell you what I have planned. Another day and another Lululemon sweatshirt. I realized I didn't link them yesterday and a bunch of you really want it. So I will leave it linked down below to take you straight to it, but it is so good. It is so good. And there's no shame. It is just a crew neck sweatshirt. Um, and it's cut oversized, so it's really nice. I love them so much. All right, I have eight minutes before I start this 7.30 coffee and chat, so this is just gonna be just a good time with everyone. I'm just letting Bubby outside. Um, it's been a busy morning. We did like a big training, um, had a meeting, a couple of calls to take during the training, and all of those things. Um, today is about disconnecting, so my goal is to edit this as quickly as possible um, and get it uploaded. My goal is to have it done processing by five because I truly want to disconnect. And I'm also going to tell you what my plan is tonight for Steven and I's game night. Let me take you into the dining room because I've actually been hiding for about a week. Our day four of Vlogmas. So this is what Steven and I are going to do this evening. So I picked up this game and you can do it with two players. It's an escape room in a box. Uh, it seems like a lot of fun and something that he would be really into. And then I just bought some really cute garlands and banners and things to hang up to make it feel like celebration-y. And then for dinner, we're not actually having like a dinner dinner. We're going to do pre-made appetizers and I'm just gonna cook off a bunch of those, make a veggie tray. We're just gonna pick in the evening. And that is going to be our day four of Vlogmas of disconnecting and having a game night. I'm actually really excited about it because it's not something that Steven and I've done. I mean, we've played games of course, but like to have like a themed fun game night is not something we've done. This is going to be part of a DIY. What is amazing about this wrap this um, contact paper is it actually is like a very metallic finish. Like it looks like real metal, even the texture. And you're going to see that it matches my kitchen hardware exactly. So like there's something happening in the kitchen for a quick and easy update. And I'm gonna share that with you. 
um, probably this weekend. I am actually going to go make a cup of coffee and um, uh, go through the PowerPoint for this last meeting for the day. It's at two o'clock, we'll wrap it up quick. It is 3.30 um, and I'm kind of wrapping for the day. I have a few other things I need to get done, um, but I wanted to show you what I'm thinking for the kitchen refresh. So I have been playing around the idea of mixing our hardware up. Same style, different colors. So I wanna show you how you can experiment with that if you really like it. About a week ago, I had cut and picked up some black um, scrapbook paper from Michaels just to see how I was feeling about it. And I actually love the black on the white with the gold on the island. So I have black hardware arriving tomorrow and it's the same exact hardware that I bought for my gold handles just in matte black. Then I knew I needed to pick up the gold. Here's the thing when mixing metals. You wanna work in triangles, so it should be repeated in three places around your house, or in that space, rather. So where my black is coming in, I have black hardware. I also have black light fixtures. Some of you very much scoped it out, but I moved my black chairs from my dining room into my kitchen, and then I also have this black table between my two chairs. So that's my areas of black to make it all tie together. My silver and stainless steel comes in multiple places. My sink, my dishwasher, my refrigerator, my range, that is covered. And then with my gold, here is where I got stuck. I'll still have gold hardware on my dark cabinets. I will also still have my gold faucet, but then I was like, I need one more metallic gold. That's when I started researching hoods. And I saw that a lot of like hoods now have like a metal trim in them. And that's when I found this amazing metallic paper. And I'm just playing with it on here right now but it doesn't look like contact paper. It straight up looks like pieces of metal. So I'm gonna put a strip of the gold paper. It'll almost look like metal flashing across the top and it also will tie in three areas of gold, making those three metals work really well together and stepping back and looking at it, I'm actually super pumped and it's gonna give the kitchen a whole new vibe, and I'm pumped about that. I think it's gonna be amazing. That is my design tip. When you're trying to pick out hardware colors, or even styles, you can cut scrap of paper and put it up and like kind of live with it a couple days to see if it's vibing and if you're liking it and if you're echoing it enough. If you wanna mix metals, you might just wanna stick with two at first, because some people don't feel comfortable with three, but you wanna work in triangles and make sure it's repeated three different times in the space. And for me, that's true with any accent color. Make sure that it's echoed three times. If you also think about my Christmas decor, I keep telling you that the way I'm tying it together is by echoing colors throughout spaces, and that is why. Because the more that happens, the more cohesive it feels. I think some of you are really gonna doubt me, but when it's done, it's gonna be epic. And what else is great is when I take the 50 pieces of gold hardware off the white cabinets, they're gonna be really <laughs> easy to clean. So, looking forward to that. But, that's going to be happening tomorrow, like the official redo. All right, friends, it is going on four o'clock. I thought I'd show you what I set up. So I put the little stars on the counters. I have these pieces hanging here. I have the stars there. And then what I did is over here, I put out our little movie basket. I put some of the extra pieces of the garland on it. Have our popcorn bowls. These are amazing. They're from Crate and Barrel. I have six of the small bowls that I keep up there and then the large popcorn one. I have our game set up. I put the tassels there. I'm gonna get out all my white platters and put here for the snacks and food. Um, I texted Steven to get an estimate time of when he'd arrive. I thought we'd go ahead and open our other two advent calendars. And I didn't open three. Oh my gosh, I forgot to sing. Pour some sugar on me in the name of love. Look at this. You think it's yours. And then day four we need to open. I believe we got 
We got peach hearts, and then we got some uh, royal roses. Now, the advent calendar that I'm actually most excited, and clearly my favorite of the year, is my cookie advent calendar. Oh my gosh, it's a gift, and it's a green dot, which means ginger white chocolate. I might just save all of these for later. We'll save those for later. You can't have chocolate. But let's go ahead and open yours because now you're all antsy. You have to find day four. <gasps> Yay! Friends, I'm also going to write my gratitude for today. And my gratitude is actually really simple. I am really grateful to have tonight to disconnect and just have connection with Steven and just have a good time and play the games and just, we really do after this week, just need a little minute to ourselves. So this is what's gonna happen on Vlogmas Day 4 because if I'm truly gonna do it, I have to disconnect. Um, so I'm gonna be MIA on Instagram and comments and all of that the rest of the day, which I'm super excited about. And I'm gonna get the oven preheated. I'm gonna edit this while I'm cooking and getting everything set up for us. And we're gonna have our game night tonight, which I know he's gonna really appreciate it. But don't worry, I'm still gonna film parts of it and I will include it in day five so you can see how tonight went because I do wanna be able to include you on that. But I do wanna honor the advent calendar and I hope you will all do the same. So I'm gonna sign off like I sign off all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, my friends, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye.